Hello again, and I uh, wanted to show a little more on this generator here that I'm putting together. Like I said, that's an old Fairbanks Morse generator head, and this thing will be a beast. Uh, let's see, 12 kilowatt, 52 amp, uh, 60 cycles, I don't know. It'll do 115 or 230 volts. That's an old guy. And uh, the engine here, this is a rebuilt 1.6 diesel. It's out of an 81 Volkswagen Dasher station wagon. Uh, we picked that up a while ago, got it out of a field, and um, the body was pretty far gone on it. I mean, it sucks because it was a neat looking car. Uh, anyhow, and the cooling system I just got sort of cobbled together right now just to just to make sure everything's okay. The engine's rebuilt, but it never really had an extended run. I was running it yesterday, and and it uh, seems to be all right. Yeah, and yeah, that's a that's a regular meat thermometer. You just jam it right through the webbing of the radiator, and that gives you a decent reading of your temperature. Yeah, the, the coolant system looks really bad right now, but uh, that's going to get a lot better. And here's the roller that I was machining out the other day. But uh, we will start it up here. First you got your fuel. That's the fuel cutoff switch. Glow plugs. Ten. And a starter. Junkyard, so that was kind of expected to me. And uh, holding at 150 right now, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that down. Ugh, I don't want to get showered. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> obviously, I got to do hoses on it. I mean, I, I didn't expect them to last long at all. Cause, uh, all that, all this stuff is right out of a field. A field car has been sitting for probably 10 years or better. Uh, hoses, I got to make a proper support for this radiator instead of that jack stand. And something to mount the expansion tank to. I want to get it up on axles. Well, one axle and a and a little trailer hitch so I can pull with my tractor, move it around. And I gotta get another mount back here somewhere. So I wanted it to have a little bounce, but not all that much. Um, I might cut this tensioner down a little bit so I can get some more travel on there. I mean, them belts don't have to be much tighter than that, but I'd like a little more. Um, let me see. I'm kinda torn between an alternator or just hooking up a small 12 volt power supply to it that would uh, keep the battery charged while it's running and the power supply is going to run off the generator of course so then I got one less belt to worry about uh, eventually this circuit breaker has got to get relocated I think and build an enclosure for the whole thing but uh and I haven't even checked the generator to see if it's putting out yet. I know it did. And I know if it doesn't, all I gotta do is take this cover off and clean up the commutator and, and it'll it'll work just fine. But right now I've just been kinda running it and and mainly just worrying about the engine, seeing what the engine's gonna do. But so far it's it's been coming up roses. Uh yeah. But um 
well yesterday I ran it and it was coming up to coming up to 190 well it came up to 180 and then the thermostat opened you can tell this bottom hose will heat right up because right there is your thermostat and it's coming out this way up through the radiator and back into the engine and that hose will heat up once your thermostat opens so uh, it got up to 190 then I hooked a uh, battery charger up to the fan because it was pretty hot yesterday I didn't want to overheat it and I turned it on uh, 12 volts 2 amps so the fan was just kind of running slowly and it, it pulled it right back down to 160 so I don't see any problems with the cooling system <laughs> except for except for this piece of crap now I'm just gonna do all the hoses it's gonna get all brand new hoses and it's gonna look a hell of a lot better once I'm done this is just the uh, first iteration incarnation whatever this is just for testing this is the beta version of the cooling system uh, it ought to be a hell of a lot better when I'm done and of course it's going to have gauges on it it'll have oil temperature voltage of course I don't know if I'll have voltage if I don't have an alternator on it so all this really needs to run is this little thing right here that's an electric fuel cutoff it's just a solenoid valve it runs off of 12 volts as long as that stays open the engine will run actually if you have one of these old diesels I'm pretty sure you can take this solenoid out and take the body or take the take a piece of the valve out and then you can push start it and you can run it without any electrical system whatsoever but you have to stall it to shut it off because then it won't shut off with the key but uh yeah so far I'm I'm pretty happy with the engine and that's about all there is to that take care